Oh. Hi, and welcome to <laughs> Two Fit Chicks. Two Fit Chicks. Yeah. I'm bringing the nuts back. Oh, they blew up. Okay, it is currently uh, 9.58 p.m. And me and Amy's bedtime is uh, at 9.30. So bear with us on this one. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about supplementation and some of our favorite supplements. Yeah, and also a little bit about our workouts and our favorite like exercises to do. Currently, what kind of supplements are you on, Amy? Well, right now I take protein. And protein. We like protein. Do you like protein? I like potatoes, but we're not talking about that today. So potatoes again. Yeah, I'll do like my whey pro whey proteins. What's your favorite brand of whey protein? I would have to say Redcon, and that's just because it really doesn't upset my stomach. And I have a sensitive stomach, so protein is so hit or miss with me. It's the um, MRE light. Yeah. So MRE it doesn't have a whey in it. But I'll take protein because this is what my coach puts on my meal plan. So I just listen to her and it tastes good and my stomach doesn't hurt. So boom. I also take creatine and that's something you want to take every day, even on your off days. So it's kind of important to remember. But you also want to cycle that. You don't want to just take it every single day, 100 percent of the time. Like you want to do like month cycles of it. Uh, I like my EAAs and glutamine because recovery is important and I can tell the difference when I take it and when I don't. Yeah, so your um, EAAs are all your essential amino acids. So they're going to help you. You drink them throughout your workout usually and they're going to help you like with recovery and just honestly, usually they taste pretty good. So, I mean, they help you kind of get that sweet craving and um, they're going to help your body function right. So yeah, let's not forget pump. Oh, yeah. I love a good pump. Pump is like a pre-workout, but without the stem. So like without the caffeine. So if you're someone that's super sensitive to caffeine, go with a pump. But now if you have heart issues, like maybe just steer, steer away from those things. Maybe just try some amino acids or BCAAs or EAAs. That's where you want to stick to. What other, What do you take any like vitamins or anything like that right now? Yeah, well, um, I kind of <laughs> ran out a while ago and didn't re-up, but you should be taking a, a multivitamin. So like a lot of men, they'll take like a men's only. Us women, we take like a women's one a day. Yeah, I take a multivitamin. I take vitamin C every day, like a thousand milligrams at least. Um, usually I'll take like green tea extract. Um, there's garlic that's good for your health or heart health. And then also what else do I take? I'm trying to think of all the things. Oh, vitamin D, vitamin E. I take all of those. Um, and then I also take, I don't take pre-workout because I am one of those people that's super sensitive to like, like super high stims. I also drink energy drinks, so I don't want to like overdose myself on caffeine. So coffee or like an energy drink is just fine as your pre-workout. So don't overdo it. Um, also, I do the Redcon protein as well. That's my favorite. And also, what else do I take? I like a pump better than than a pre. So I take theirs. Oh, and they have a really good EAA supplement as well. It's blue. It's blue raspberry. It's my favorite. And you shake it up. It's really good. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be like biased or anything. But I would highly recommend not getting the ocean water EAAs from Ghost. The worst decision I've made yet. I like the Welch's grape. Welch's grape, 100% do it. Okay, I was wrong. The blue raspberry is a canteen. So it's like a electric light supplement. It's not EAAs. But they do have EAAs too. But I like the canteen supplement. Yeah. I take Swedish fish free from Ghost. But let's just go back to avoid ocean water because it's not it. What's your favorite go-to protein bar? People ask me this all the time. Do you like protein bars at all? I like protein bars. Which ones? I like the, what is this? It's like the little coconut one. The coconut one, like almost tastes like an Almond Joy. I have no idea. It's the ones that you get. The one bars? Yeah, the coconut one bars. I like one bars. Bar. Yeah. That's my favorite. Or a Quest bar. They have the lemon like Quest, Quest bars. bars. Those are really good. I know a lot of people don't like Quest bars. They have these little protein bat brownies, brownies from GNC. I don't know what brand they are, but they're pretty solid. Pop them in the microwave for a minute. Oh, yeah. The cake balls at Factory. Ugh. If you ever go to Factory Gym in Buda, get a cake ball. Anyway, so now that we talked about some supplements, so multivitamin, um, and then you should be taking vitamin C, vitamin you D, be vitamin C. zinc is really good to throw into your supplements in the morning. Um, 
if you're not big on vegetables, a greens powder is great. Um, and then you can take pre, you can take pump, you could take EAAs, um, get yourself a protein powder just in case you need that. Um, you like that at the end of your, your workouts um, or you can make a smoothie or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of like the baseline of what supplements you're looking at and vitamins. Do you drink? So do you drink like your protein shake before or after your workout? Um, I mean, I would, I would drink it after. Yeah. But I, I don't mean, like protein shakes, so I usually mix my protein into my yogurt. Yeah. I eat my post-workout meal. It's the oatmeal protein. Oh, yeah. You can do that, that too. Make. Oatmeal and protein together. That's a good one. Yeah. A little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, I'll drink my EAs during my workout. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Let's talk about some workouts then. Okay. Okay. So what does your split look like right now? So right now... Like in previous videos, I discussed I'm doing powerlifting, so I do have to get those three main compound lifts, that squat, bench, deadlift, yeah. in my week. And so I like to work out five days a week. I'll do, I try to do three days on, one day for a rest day, and then two days on, one day for a rest day. And with that being said, typically right now, squats on Mondays, I'll do a lot of quad-focused exercises. Tuesdays, we're going to go to bench, chest, shoulders. And then Wednesdays, I'll try to do some um, like accessories. So a lot of another leg day for me, some hamstrings and whatever I'm really feeling that day. I take that rest. I'll hop right back on to back deadlift, do some arms, back and buys, baby. And I'll do another accessory day, some more legs. Legs, legs. I'm trying legs. to grow my legs, okay? <laughs> And then uh, rest and start the cycle over. Okay, so since you're trying to grow your leg, what do you think your favorite leg exercise is? I love, hate, single leg leg press. Yeah, I actually really love single leg press. I love, hate them because they hurt so bad, or should I say so good, but yeah. <laughs> I like waddle out of the gym on quad day. You know what is like, Everyone hates them, but they're also like a really good one is Bulgarian split squats. They yeah. suck, they but suck. they're amazing for you. And I also love, I mean, a good hip thrust. Yeah, I need to work on my glutes. I'm not going to lie, but yeah. oh, I hate hip thrust so much. Even a glute bridge with some weight, like you're going to build those glutes, yeah. like single legs, whatever. Or just squat heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm. I listen. I'm not the squat queen. That's her. I hate squats, and I have super long legs. So, um, me and squats don't get along. It's just not my movement, and that's okay if it's not your movement. Find a different variation of your squat, um, or just like do a different movement if it's not something that you can, like that you're good at. Yeah. What does your split look like? My split, like I'm trying to do three leg days a week, which I usually do during prep, but like right now it's more like two. And then usually I do two days of shoulders because I like shoulders. <laughs> That's why my shoulders look so shoulder jacked. Boulders. And my legs are slacking. We're trying to be quad queens out here. Yeah. And then I'm trying to put some more compound lifts in, um, like deadlifting again. I have been squatting with you. Ugh. Death. Yeah. Um, and then my favorite, my favorite shoulder workout. My favorite shoulder exercise. Shoulder press. I do like shoulder press. And then um, been hitting a little bit more chest too. Yeah. Incline press. That's oh. a good one. And then um, I like lateral raises. I don't know what, what, oh, why am I, I weird like that? Raise. I love lateral, lateral My raises. My lateral raises are embarrassing. No, no. <laughs> no, yes they are. But and, I <laughs> We're getting there. It's fine. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big lift that matter for you, Amy. I know. Yeah. But with that being said, I mean, I do like to lift heavy, but what I wish someone would have told me earlier on in kind of like my fitness journey, lifting heavy is I love, I don't know what it's called. What do people call it? Ego lifting. Ego lifting. <laughs> I yes. Just, I think, I mean, someone pointed that out one time and maybe it's true because I love lifting heavy weight. It makes me feel good because I'm working really hard and I like kind of the struggle in the gym. But also I was not, I was like compromising my form. Like my form went to the gutter and went to the dumpster. It went out the window. There was no form. I was getting the weight up, but at what sacrifice? My right. That's the, that's the fastest way for you to get injured is not having correct form. So like 
she's strong too, right? Like she's like almost like a supernatural freak when it comes to lifting. Like she's not the average girl. Like she's strong as hell and she can lift that freaking weight, okay? But the like an average person, if you're just trying to ego lift nine pounds out of 10, you're gonna freaking hurt yourself. Yeah, And, and I've usually had you're lower back, okay? Yeah. So please don't be embarrassed to lift lighter and practice your form. And that's something that we're getting into this one's head. Yeah, and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm actually dropping my weight other than, you know, like max weeks yeah. and whatnot, but I'm dropping it down, doing higher reps and working on like perfecting that form. Yeah, it's those cues. So like get your form right and it's gonna help you in the long run and like longevity. That's what you want when you're in the gym. You wanna have longevity, you want, you know, you want your joints and everything to feel okay when you're getting older and older and yeah. uh, obviously progressive overload like definitely push yourself in the gym i'm not saying hey don't lift heavy like not saying that at all i'm just saying make sure that your form is correct and make sure you really understand the the um cues on those movements especially compound movements before you up that weight yeah and honestly who cares what you're lifting in the gym? Like I could go lift those 2.5 weights. No one's gonna even blink an eye. They'd look at me the same as if I was lifting 50 pounds. On yeah, as balls. long as you're, you know, pushing yourself and like getting stimulus, that's all that matters. Yeah. So. And who, just don't care what anyone else thinks in the gym about the weight that you lift. Cause I used to be super self-conscious, like, oh my gosh, I'm lifting these little like lightweight pounds. And I was kind of embarrassed to, only bench tens on bench press at one point in my life and now I'm like progressing and at the end of the day I should have just you know kept the weight low and perfected that form yeah yeah there's my little rant <laughs> and also you can adjust your like stimulus by how many reps and sets you do so yeah. if you're not lifting crazy heavy because you're hurting or you're you know or, or you just don't think that you're ready to lift that heavy yet and you don't have like the best form on those compound movements, add some more exercises yeah. and sets and reps and make yourself fatigued. Like you can do it in other ways. You don't have to lift 300 pounds, but Amy does. And that's fucking awesome because she's <laughs> fucking strong. I'm never going to lift 300 pounds, okay? It's just not in the books for me. I mean, maybe if I trained and trained and trained and trained. She'll out-volume me any day, though. Yeah. I got no stamina. So everyone's different. Like, I, I like endurance. Like, I can go and go and go. So, yeah. Just, just do what's best for you. Um, I think some good compound movements that you definitely should learn if you're starting out would be to squat. If you don't love it, then that's fine. Um, hip thrust is great. Um, learn to deadlift, sumo or conventional, um, and then learn to bench or dumbbell bench at least. Yeah, and I know people talk smack on the Smith machine, but honestly, the Smith machine is pretty nice. I'm trying to perfect your form just getting into squats. Yeah. So, I mean, there's definitely different machines and tools to help you along the way. Um, just YouTube those things or like, like try and watch videos and try and ask someone else for help. Like we said in the last video, like ask people. And then also with your supplements too, like ask, ask people what they're taking, what they like to try it out, like see if you like it. And also take a half scoop of pre the first time you take a pre, okay? Don't fucking full send it. And let, if you've never taken pre before and take a whole fucking scoop, I can promise you can be thrown up in the parking lot and you're gonna hate your life. Yeah, don't. I've been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, I think we all have. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, anyways guys, thanks for tuning in again and we hope you have a wonderful week. Send us questions. Hit those DMs up. Yep. Do you like that? Finger guns, baby. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm the weird one this time, not Amy. Okay. I'm a little too tired. <laughs> I know. She's normal now. Not time. Awkward Amy's gone. Now it's Sleep just Sleep is important. <laughs> tired Amy. Thanks for tuning in to Two Fit Chicks. And please like and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time. Yep. Thank you.